West D.C. police make an arrest in a shooting that killed one man and wounded two people, including a juvenile. It happened overnight near the corner of North Capitol and T Streets, not far from a church. Diane Cho is now live for us near the scene with the new information. Diane, what do we know? Well, Kenneth, police say 21 year old Donchell Thomas was taken to an area hospital where he later died. He was one of three victims found shot in a car here at this intersection in Northwest D.C. For the last five decades, how you doing, Michelle? Oh, hi, man, yourself. 89 year old Lavinia Height has been walking to St. Martin's Catholic Church for Sunday services. But today, D.C. police still had this area blocked off with yellow crime scene tape in northwest D.C. several hours after a shooting. Yeah, they wouldn't let us in. But see, I worked, for, worked at the police academy for years. <laughs> And I was pushing my words. Police say just before 1.30 this morning, three people were shot here off North Capitol and T Street Northwest. Hyde says she heard at least six shots overnight. And I thought there was crackers. So I said somebody's having Fourth of July too late. But they wasn't. It appears a driver hit a street sign and a fire hydrant before eventually crashing into the bridge. That's probably what it was that made that terrible noise. That he hit that wall. I mean, he hit it. But I, I didn't know that what it was. Now investigators are trying to piece together exactly what unfolded overnight. Meanwhile, longtime residents of the Bloomingdale neighborhood say this sort of violent crime was normal more than 10 years ago, but it hasn't happened in this area in a while. People call out and stuff, get broken in homes, get in, broken in. But other than that, it's been quiet. Real peaceful and quiet. You can sit, at least you could sit on your front. But one time you couldn't sit on your front. Police say 36 year old Jimmy Fleming is now facing first degree murder charges in this shooting. It's still unclear how the other two victims are doing at this time. Police have not released any information on their conditions. Reporting live from Northwest DC, Diane Cho, ABC 7 News. All right, Diane.